Hey, mi gente, it's your girl oh. Tori, indeed, and my very special guest, Liv Lavelle. Hi. <laughs> Dropping in all the way from London, um, right? Correct? You're in London? Yeah, I'm in London right now. <laughs> that is so awesome, so amazing. Uh, first and foremost, I want to let you know, um, you know, I love music. I listen to all genres of music. And yeah, listening to your music, I found like passion, right? I've heard, I, I listen, oh. I'm listening to you and I feel your passion, but I hear oh, the wow. soulfulness, the R&B and the pop. So yeah. I definitely want to dive right into everything. And um, I know it's been mentioned that, you know, your inspirations come from that, um, that Motown, that R&B and um, yeah. soul music, right? From, I guess, your parents' records or just music, uh, going yeah. up to different kind of music. Um, yeah, definitely. What, what overall is your favorite genre? Do you have one? Yeah, I do. It has really? to be R and B. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I think. Should I do what I? I love all different types of music because I think different genres can just take you through so many different emotions and oh, absolutely different times and moments in your life. But if I think of one genre which has been pretty prominent through like each stage of my life, it's R and B. Oh yeah. my gosh, <laughs> I could never answer that question because I'm so like mood based. So one moment I can listen yeah, to yeah. something like R and B, and and it could be like, like the different stages of my life, and then I could just randomly mm -hmm. listen to rock music. So it's just like I'm so diverse yeah. as well. So I'm just like <laughs> okay, um, anything and everything. <laughs> I know definitely. Um, if you can collaborate with a male artist, who would it be and mm -hmm. why? Oh, I know it's so tough you, to pick right now. <laughs> I know it is. Should I do what? Oh, I you're think right now, three. party next door. I, I party next door. Okay. I think he just. I just love what he does, like musically, his melodies, writing. I feel like he's always just one step ahead, and like right now, everything he puts out is a banger. Yeah. Right. Party well, you know, you you say one step ahead. Have you ever thought about yourself that way? Since you're so diverse and so versatile like you have little sounds from different genres that I feel like you're in your own lane um you know I would, yeah I, I hate to categorize people or like obviously <laughs> if I'm listening to R&B I know this is R&B if I hear you yeah. know a little bit of hip-hop it's like hip-hop right but for you it's mm -hmm. like okay I could feel the soul and I could hear the rhythm and blues and I could feel the pop yeah. and the vibes you know what I mean so like Oh, yeah, like you, you're like a combination. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I feel like because of my sound, naturally, I think it is quite bluesy, it's soulful. But then because I've always written on so many different types of music from such a young age, then I'm able to incorporate different genres within the melody. But I think right. I'm, naturally I revert back to that soulful r&b sound just because because of my tone of voice right right and i love love your accent by the way <laughs> oh thank you um, i love yours I oh thank you i have that like jersey <laughs> new jersey east i love coast that accent. new jersey <laughs> i love the east coast <laughs> thank you so much oh my gosh <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> so speaking um, of being a young girl Tell me a little bit about your background and about, you know, who you were. Who was the young Liv Lavelle? Like, what were her dreams? Liv Lavelle. So, growing up, I've always loved music. I guess it was a little bit cliche. Grew up listening to music, was always singing music from really young and performing, like, writing songs and making my mum come into my bedroom to listen <laughs> to them for, like, hours at a time. But... I was also very sporty. Like I loved competing. Like I was super athletic. I played football. So for oh a God. long time, I was like 13, 14. Yeah, I know it's like a contrast from that to that. Um, but for a long time, I'd say I, I was really thinking I was going to be some sort of sportswoman. Like I wanted to do the Olympics and right. complete, compete. Sorry, really like Olympics. Oh my God. Um, 
Yeah, I know. I don't know if I was that good, but a girl can dream. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> I could definitely relate to you because I grew up um, like into sports. I loved, I was like the only girl playing football with the boys. So I think we should definitely have a football game. No, yeah, <laughs> that was me. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, yes, I'm we, like no, can we do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that is That's hilarious. Me. <laughs> We are alike. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely are. Oh, my gosh. And then um, even like kickball or dodgeball, right? Oh, my gosh. That is so funny. But I never thought of being a, a, in the Olympics. Yeah. But if you were in the Olympics, what would be your category? What would you want to be? Like a runner? Ooh. Um it would have been, yeah, it would have been the 800 meters. Oh, wow. Definitely not swimming. I like enjoy, I enjoy swimming, but I'd rather just like, paddle I'm not oh, like I like floating <laughs> but I, I can swim <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> even that floating's actually really hard to do like I try but I, I'm better just oh my this. god <laughs> okay we definitely have to hang out <laughs> okay so we do if, <laughs> if we were to give you five minutes right to create a verse um what would the topic be about yeah. oh I think Off the I top guess. of my head, love. I knew it. I was going to say, can I guess? <laughs> oh, wait, did you guess? <laughs> oh, that's what I was going to say. Like, let me guess. Are you I feel like... <laughs> We're like Oh, I'm sorry. I feel like there's a slight delay. <laughs> oh, no, no problem. Well, you are all the way in London, and um, we're in, in the middle of an actual storm. I know. So... <laughs> Oh, you are? Yes, I, I'm snowed in. Oh, okay, maybe like, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Let's leave it on that. You know, technology is a little crazy today. Um, okay, so it will definitely be about <laughs> I love. Know. And I, did, I didn't expect anything different. <laughs> yeah. Um, but speaking of love, <laughs> right, you've expressed that you love what you do. Yeah. So at what age did you start mm -hmm. taking your career seriously? Uh, well about 14 I'd say so at 14 yeah, you're 14, like I'm gonna pursue 15. this seriously yeah nice because it got to a point where I think nat naturally you because I was so sporty before like you kind of grow out of that around that age you're like oh I don't right. want to be wearing shorts and like <laughs> basketball boots. shorts like, I, I want to be yeah like I want to be girly yeah <laughs> Makeup. You're speaking my language. <laughs> oh my gosh. So speaking of your career, so yeah. right? it's, it's just like everything falls into yeah. the next question, right? And um oh, you know, I feel like I feel like you've achieved so much. You know, you hit over a million streams, wow. you've mm -hmm. um, you know, in a combination, uh, you've reached a global reach reach a global reach listen over 78 over 76 78 <laughs> countries that is amazing like congratulations first and foremost and like how does that oh make thank you, you. Feel? thank you like your voice has traveled the world globally <laughs> yeah it is amazing it's like sometimes I think because I'm only at the beginning of, of my career in that aspect I'm like wow, I've still got so much more to give and so much more to share with just the world. But just those smaller achievements compared to like what musicians are achieving right now, like for an artist that is just pursuing what they love, it means so much. Like to have, to know like you've written a song and over a million times right. it's been played, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, and it can't it be is, just one, obviously there, there, you know, when people go through their life, you know, their life obstacles or mm, anything they're going through, right? And they're re they're listening. They might have you on repeat. Yeah. But I don't think they have you on repeat where it's a million times. So <laughs> I know you have um, a really no, exactly. great <laughs> statistics, really great um, audience, you know? And I, I listen to Yeah. I was just like, let me see, you know, what she's about. And I literally list. I did not skip any songs. Um, and it was just a vibe. I was just like, oh, okay, like gosh. this is an experience for me and I absolutely thank you. love it. <laughs> so I'm celebrating with you, for you. I yeah, think that's thank awesome. you. I definitely do. Um, but 
Thank um, you so much. You're welcome. At the end of 2019, you mentioned being hit with challenges, taking risks, having amazing highs, yeah. right? And then memorable lows. Yeah. So with that statement, I just want to <laughs> yeah. know, like, how did those memorable lows contribute to your growth in 2021? Right. I I think the the main thing for me, like being in the music industry and for a long time as well, it's it's an amazing experience, but it's also it can be like heartbreaking <laughs> at times because you're constantly striving, you're constantly just trying to share something that you love and it isn't always accepted. And <laughs> yes. that that's a lot, like because it it's so personal. So to share something and you know then you may have a label that says well actually no like that's not for us or a management that says no like that's not very good like it's right. yours so you you like that's a struggle to to take in and to then like try and put in a way of dealing with that it, it, it is right. hard but I think going through through those different motions of the highs and the lows of being an artist, being a performer, a singer songwriter. I think you you either see it as something that you know you really want to do in those lows, or right. you say, do you know what this isn't for me? Right. And so far those lows have only made me want to just keep doing it. Right. It sounds like it definitely does drive you and no obstacle can defeat you. So I love that. And it takes a powerful no. person to really believe in themselves. So that's you believing in 14-year-old you, 15-year-old you, you know, and like progressing. Yeah. And it's just like you already knew no matter what, like, I love singing and this is what I do. Um, so I think everybody goes yeah. through ups and downs. It's just, it takes you to just move things yeah. and align yourself accordingly. Um, do you also write your um, music Exactly. As well? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Like I, I've written from so young. So right. whether it's been like just little poems or stories or like diaries, like I've always written. So I've naturally always found it quite easy to then write a song. And I love writing, like to be able to put an emotion into a melody, I think like such a beautiful thing. And yeah, I, I love writing. Writing is one of my favorite parts of it. That's awesome. I know you mentioned you, you know, you were writing as a little girl, but you know, as you get older, people, um, you know, write music, they co-write. And I just think it's amazing um, that you still have that within mm. yourself. Um, that's also a skill. It's like if you were creating a yeah. resume or even like, okay, a press kit in the media world, like you would mention like songwriter, singer. Um, yeah. So I think those are great things to always mention. Um, do you remember your first song or yeah. the title of your... You do? <laughs> what was the title? <laughs> it was called Falling. And it's so funny when you look back at things you've written because like, how did I even know to write something like that? I never had my heart broken. I hadn't felt like what it is to fall in love with someone that's like right. not part of your family I'm like 12 years old writing about like having my heart oh my god stolen. <laughs> <laughs> who, who was I that's a that's a storyteller that's a narrator so girl you got skills <laughs> so um as a writer um have you ever had to deal with writer's block or even having to take a break uh yeah definitely definitely I think that can happen just in a session like you can be writing you're in a session most times it's like a dark room and you're writing you're hearing something it's over and over again you get a verse you get a pre and then you just you're stumped like right and you need to take a time out because you're like I can't do it like there's nothing happening in my brain right now <laughs> right so, so I mean, yeah it's that, okay that to has take a break before. right yeah like I think it's important to like like anything in life if you have too much of it it's not good for you like you have to give yourself time to recoup and come back to it like that's why when I find like if I've written something and you're playing it for hours and hours in the studio like you have to leave and you say like I just need to clear my ears and come back and listen again because 
you can go like you can like stuck in a hole otherwise I definitely like how you put that and you're absolutely right like too much of something like when you're when anybody is employed at a job right you have a lunch break you know because one you yeah. need to get your nutrition and you also need to kind of like decluster right <laughs> um so you're exactly mentioning... yeah because if yeah. too much is happening you can't function oh yeah absolutely but I like I like I like your energy I know we're not in the same room but it's just like you give me such a great vibe <laughs> and such dope vibes I just, I I'm it. Absolutely <laughs> loving it I feel like we're friends like <laughs> um but when you do come here I know. Have a girls day. <laughs> whether we're playing football or having lunch we're yes we are yeah. okay <laughs> okay so you described yeah. a dark studio and, um, you know, I could just mm-hmm. picture the engineer and, you know, a studio, right? So what is your creating process like? Yeah. Is, does it have to be in a studio? Can it be on, on the road, at home? It can be anywhere. I think if I'm recording, nine times out of ten, yeah, it's in the studio. But just to write a song, like I went for a walk the other day and I was just writing as I was walking. Like I can be in my bedroom, I could be sitting in the car. Like, if you've got a melody, you've got an idea. You just got to put it down. You got to have right. it. So yeah, you can be anywhere. Right, right. Oh, that's awesome. And is there something special you do, like, to prepare yourself for a performance? Do you have like some sort sort of like ritual, some sort of uh, what do they call it, like beliefs, <laughs> or something? Just um, <laughs> yeah, I used to. <laughs> Should I do you what? No, I actually did. I used to have this. Oh, it's so bad. This is my OCD. So. Oh, I have I'm, I'm not too. like this so much now. But I <laughs> do you? Oh, we're the same. <laughs> so before, I've I've grown out of this because it just it's not good to just have things that you like to really rely on like that. But before, I had to have an elastic hairband on my left wrist. <gasps> oh, before I went on stage, and I I. I don't even know why. Like, I just had to have it. Like, it didn't matter what I was wearing. It didn't matter <laughs> what I had on. But I had to have, like, a black hair tie on my wrist. Why? I don't know. But, it was like, if I didn't have it, I, was, I had to go and find one. And then, oh and then I'd be okay. <laughs> so would you borrow mine? Like, I'm like, here, take mine. So weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, give me that hair back. <laughs> I'll give it back to you. <laughs> and my hair gets a little crazy. So if I sacrifice that for you, you know I support you. <laughs> I know we are really friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So what has been one of your favorite moments within your music career? I oh there's been so many. I think Or you can mention I a did few. a tour when I Okay. So in <laughs> gosh oh, what year was I'm trying to think what year. I think it was like 2013, 14. Okay. I was in a band and we toured with Justin Bieber. Oh, that's so we super did cool. All of his O2. Yeah, that was really cool. So we did all of his O2 London tour dates. That was amazing. We performed in front of like 24,000 people. So wow. That was incredible. Wow. That must yeah. have been a great experience. Thank also you. That, mild, that like was a little truly amazing, right? That I would consider. Um, yeah. But I like the beebs, so. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, um, me too. <laughs> and it's I'm so a believer. <laughs> to have those experiences. Um, so I know. Yeah, um, it really is. Oh, yeah. So I know you mentioned, um, or I mentioned rather, the 2019 going into 2020 post. Now we're in 2021. So do you have any goals yeah. or what are some of your goals for this yeah. year? For this year, just releasing more music. I think that's one thing I really didn't get to do enough of last year. And we're in a pandemic and that's so annoying. But I'm hoping that this year I just get to release more and more music and just spread my musical love around the world. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. You know what? Well, your music's already global, right? But now it just takes me back to the previous. I don't know why it just hit me. I know you were in a band, but what genre was that band? Yeah. Very pop. Okay. Okay. Cool. Like super pop. Yeah. Like nothing like what I'm doing now. (laughs) 
Well, I'm glad you um, found your, you know, I mean, you already were an individual artist at a young, young age <laughs> and you pursued it. So that band experience must have been, you know, yeah. very um, like a learning curve, whether it's a great um, lessons or even mm-hmm. like, you know, things that kind of brought light to you. Um, if it, I don't know, but for you overall, yeah, how was it working with other people, like other musicians, other band members? Should I tell you what? Because it was so, it happened so quickly, and because I was so young, I almost wouldn't have wanted to have had that experience by myself. Oh I, my gosh! Yeah. I would have only have wanted to experience that with other people like they were my friends we became best friends oh that's so, to so have cool that experience of like touring and yeah so traveling around the country and touring and doing all of those things like that's daunting at 15 16 years old so it was amazing that we got to do it with like, your friends oh, yeah. by your side yeah yeah absolutely I was just curious it just popped in my head I'm like wait she was in a band okay so it was pop and it was you know a great you know I would definitely um want to experience certain things it's like whatever's going on in your life at the time and whatever experiences you are you know you have yeah it's like you take it with you and you learn to appreciate it so that's um yeah that's pretty cool I think exactly <laughs> so I know we kind of dived into like no I agree <laughs> you, football you um olympic yeah you. <laughs> but aside from singing what are other things you <laughs> enjoy doing <laughs> Um, I love to eat. I oh. love food. <laughs> food is the key to our hearts. So I know if you write a heartbreak, it, it must be your. your it really be is. You must be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay, so what, yeah, is, definitely. what are some gems or advice that you would give to someone, a young, you know, a young person that um wants to pursue music you know um what are some gems and advice you would give them yeah or anyone in general that wants to pursue singing I would say yeah I would say prepare yourself for a roller coaster (laughs) (laughs) of emotions of just highs (laughs) highs and lows but oh yes the but the reward of just knowing you're sharing something you love with people, it outweighs any low it's that you so may go it. through within it. Definitely. You make it sound so yeah. worth it. Like the experience isn't like it's part of like in your life, you know, when you go to school, when you play sports, when you when yeah. you're doing things throughout yeah. your life, it's all experiences and it's all there's highs yeah. and lows. So now exactly. if you're pursuing something you love. Yeah. Okay, and that's think, that is life. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Exactly. It's definitely part of life. Um, so no, thank you. That that's very that's really kind of you to actually mention that because you. you know, they think of, oh, people are gonna listen to my music and you know, you're not my you you may not be for everyone, but or your friends or family. Your audience yeah. your audience may be strangers. People around <laughs> yeah. the world like live Lavelle. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> is there someone that It's um, so true. Is there someone that you looked up to that inspired you, maybe like a mentor um in within your career? So when I first started out there was a producer that I was really close with and he he really allowed me to expand and develop on my writing. Like oh. I had a good two years where he just said, Liv, just write. Like I'm going to give you hundreds and hundreds of backing tracks and just write, record melodies and just write. And I don't think I'd be the type of writer I am today if I hadn't had that experience. Right. So, right. Yeah, that that was that was pretty amazing. Oh wow. Yeah, and I feel like you are being allowed to be yourself, right? Just write, just write, write these melodies. You actually posted a little freestyle yeah. you did, like a little soulful yeah. 
uh, freestyle. And I was like, ooh. And it was just like, your caption was not lyrics, just vibe. I'm like, oh my God, this girl is perfect. <laughs> it's a vibe for sure. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so, vibe um, only. <laughs> okay. So is there anything... Well, obviously you like to eat, right? So is there some fun things you like? Are you, do you go skiing or I don't mm-hmm. know, I'm just send, sending random things now. Like what are some things that you do for fun? Kind of like a little ice Fun? Breaker. I like to go on adventures. Oh my gosh. Okay. Like road trips? Like I love to just, yeah, just go. Like I used to be before, like, again, the OCD, I was like, you know, I want to plan and I want to like really know what's going to happen <laughs> and set it all out but now especially being older you just realize you know what like life is too short you've just got to go and just let's see where you end up and oh I, I love doing that just let's just go anywhere that's like me I could get in my car and just decide like listen I'm going 12 hours south no seven I'm lying 17 hours south and I'm gonna go to Miami like <laughs> I'm just like that I'm so and I'm so crazy because I would get Let's up just in the car it. and go, yeah. and I would be okay. I'm. I like to describe myself as a gypsy. Like wherever I go, I could do what I do and what I love from wherever I go. Yeah, you know, you so, do. What you do. <laughs> exactly. And you can too, what you star sign you are you? Anywhere. I'm an Aries. Is you're an Aries? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Wait. What's your zodiac? Don't tell. Um, don't get me started. I thought you just get on so well. <laughs> Are you at? Wait. What? <laughs> Wait, wait, say that again. <laughs> we get on so well. <laughs> yes. Yes. What, wait. I'm sorry, but I didn't catch your zodiac. Oh, I'm a Libra. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that definitely makes sense. <laughs> Um, is there anything you want to mention that you're currently working on or would you like to give us a sneak peek of something? Do you want to freestyle a little bit? What, what's up? <laughs> so, yeah, so right now, I guess like I'm just, I'm in the studio, I'm writing of course, and just getting as much in as I can. Um, I, try, I can sing you a little something that I wrote. Ooh, Just, okay. This is actually, I wrote this on my walk. <laughs> oh, nice. Let me, one sec. Sure, sure. So I just got a little verse so far. Oh, okay. So this is a little exclusive. Oh, but I don't even have I a backing track. I'm just, I'm just gonna have to do it. I'm just gonna have to do it a cappella. Okay. Uh... Oh my gosh! Sorry, you forget your live when you're doing something like this. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> do your I'm thing, girl. I told you, it's just like us hanging out. <laughs> it does feel like that. I know. It's a vibe, girl. The vibe is real. Hold but I do want to okay. mention everybody that's in um, the chat room. Um, hey, ladies, you all look great. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you for all the love that we're getting in the chat room. Oh, we yay. Thank you. <laughs> So don't worry. <laughs> I'm glad we're we're giving off everyone's vibes. It's good. Um, so I wrote this little song. It's called Candy Rain. Ooh. Um. Okay. So just I'm just gonna have to do acapella because I don't have the song, <laughs> the backing track. Sorry. So it goes and um, somewhere beyond the stars is where I wait for you. And I'm not no clothes up there. A smile's the only thing I wear. Mm-hmm. In between the love and the lies, I feel feelings for you. I never want to go back there. Because I'm not pretty when I care. Sorry, then there's a bit. <laughs> and I've been getting really dizzy going around in 
circles. Knowing that it's no good, I can't break away. Cause you got that candy ray, yeah, yeah. Pour it on me, and I can't fight this craving. Yeah. Your love's so sweet, yes, you got that candy ray. Pour it on me, and I can't fight this craving. Knowing there's no good for me, cause you can't fight the rain. Yeah! <laughs> I love it. I love your voice. It's so soulful, so unique, and it has a little rasp to it. I love it. Thanks. <laughs> well, thank you so so much for your time. I'm sure we could talk all day. We could. Um, oh my yes. god. Oh, <laughs> you are amazing, and I wish you nothing but continued success. And I would love thank to bring you. you back on every milestone you hit. I would love. To yes, you. I'm here. Thank you so much for having me. As Thank soon as you. I have the next milestone, I'm back. <laughs> oh, yes. Listen, I celebrate small ones, big ones. It's I feel like my achievements are up to you. Like you decide yeah. what you're if you just registered as a business or as an artist on BMI and yeah. all those um, you know, um music related things, like it's just like I'll celebrate it. So hey, yeah, definitely it's up to one to celebrate all the everything's an achievement. <laughs> absolutely thank you so so much thank, thank you. you so much <laughs> bye